Hello and good afternoon from Grisom. And Lee Rice here, God bless. I think it's something like day 25. I've been writing a lot. So I feel very happy to be here and inspired. It's a beautiful place and I'm proud to be standing on the side of the light with God and the children for a change to the madness of us sleeping in our phones in particular. So anyway, I wrote a new song. Uh, I've been doing a lot of writing, so I'm gonna try this now. It's called, I'm Yours Every Day. Hmm, don't forget to breathe. You're a 
my fingers really hurting from the indentations that have been cast on my hands from playing so much. Uh, so I just finished writing that. It was kind of inspired the other night and I had the idea of the being a vessel because I feel all the time guided and uh, I've known that for a long time. And the more time I've sp spent with nature, God, the more connected I've become. So I feel entwined completely with nature and the trees and all of the movements, the light shining through, the changing colors. And I love nature with all of my heart. Uh, I've slept in the wild, as I've said on other videos, more than 1,000 times. Sometimes they've been great positions, you know, next to waterfalls and lakes, but sometimes under bridges, in caves, in empty buildings, in very bad situations, in storms, in hurricanes, buried in snow at the top of a mountain in Macedonia, and many bad positions as well. Uh, but through all of the challenges as I kept on going, I felt the connection to nature, God, more and more. Um, since I've been doing this job in the last few years, I started to see very clearly, as has been observed in other social experiments, excuse me, I have a little bit of a cold, that the children see so much more than we do, and they take the time and they hear, they see and feel what's going on around them with the music, with nature, with all. So I see it simply after watching us for a long time that we've got more to learn from them than they have from us. And it would be a mistake for us to give them our habits as such. Like I said on one video a couple of weeks ago that if I had a child, and I say this in my honest from the heart way, I would sooner give my child heroin than a smartphone with apps that are addictive on it. Because I see so clearly what it's done to us as a people. I started seeing the problem years ago, as I mentioned in a previous video. I wrote songs like Zombies Don't Feel Pain and uh, Change Our Minds, you know, four years ago. And, well, th let's just say Zombies Don't Feel Pain didn't go down very well. Four years later, look at where we are now. A high percentage of people are sleepwalking in their phones with absolutely zero awareness of reality itself. So I say, as I've said in other videos, we need to come back to each other. We need to come back to the real world of life and music and art and uh, making real friendships, having real conversations, not being, able to, being afraid sitting in a cafe to actually say hello and, you know, just taking the time for each other. I, don't see, I, I see it more of we need to evolve rather than a revolution and evolution being a waking up of the mind coming back, which isn't really rocket science, it's just coming back to reality, coming back to the goodness of nature, coming back to real interaction, using the smartphone, the incredible technology which it is, for the wise uses when it's needed and the data and the Wi-Fi going off at all other times. That's what I would highly recommend, you know. After being on both sides of the coin and, and having one and a half years without a smartphone, I really did actually hate smartphones for a long time and I realized that of course it's not the actual technology. I can't blame the PlayStation if I play eight hours a day and I can't blame the phone itself. The technology is truly incredible. I can't believe the storage I've got and you know and the camera and the GPS. When we use the tool wisely the problem is not the phone. The problem is clearly very easily identifiable, identifiable as being an app addiction an addiction of madness, insanity actually, where we're so disconnected from reality itself by being so busy being somewhere else. I wrote another new song today called False Gods. I'm probably gonna make another video for that shortly. You know, this is God, nature. And clearly we're in a, bit, a little bit of a mess at the moment to say the least. And it doesn't take much, in my honest opinion, from the heart, which I always try, to, try my very best to be, to join the dots together to see that we're in this mess because of the lack of respect of nature. I've said on other videos that we, I, I've sat next to people on trains and buses on huge journeys that pretty much do not look out of the window at some of the most spectacular landscape I've seen, like example traveling through Norway you know, six hours, and they've sat next to children that are like 11 and 12, and they're on either iPads or whatever the whole time, and outside the window is incredible nature, beauty everywhere. So I, I wrote in one song, 1% World, you know, and I see it like that now. I play a little bit of it now. 
at the end of this video. I see it like that now, that it, we should treat it as a 1% place, and that should be the maximum time that we spend in this 1% place, because the other 99 is truly incredible. All of the trees, all of nature, birds, real people, real interaction, sunshine, rain, all, all that is on this side is, is much better than what's in this 1% place, which I try and treat it like that now. I'm using it now to make the video incredible technology, as I've said in other videos, the same, you know. To imagine that in my, in my phone, which is really a computer, to be fair, I've got the specification of a laptop I had, say, five years ago, so I treat it as a computer, the same as I've taken the laptop out to make a recording. I, I use it when I need to use it, and I, I don't let it use me. And that's what's happened. Many people have become under a spell in the apps, and that's taken them away from reality itself. And because of that, so much is being missed, music, and life itself, reality, this real existence. And even though there's this dark cloud of corona, you know, these problems were all around long before corona came, and I don't take away from corona, it's a crisis, of course. But the whole time I've been trying to keep my focus on the bigger picture, how did we get in this mess to start with? And I've said on other videos, we only have to look at the plastic, the homelessness, and all of the problems over the last five years as an example to see that we've been going the wrong way. And I'm a million percent certain that a large percentage of that is the amount of time we've lost of reality itself by being in our phone app addiction madness. So I see change simply more of an evolution of coming back to reality, coming back to life, waking up and coming back this way to the other 99.9% .9 place. I play a little bit, this video is already too long, I play a little bit of 1% world to finish this off and uh, boom shakalaka. <laughs> How are you? It's a lovely day. If you're stuck inside your phone, you won't hear, see or feel a single word I say. Won't you come back? 1% world. 1% world, 1% world Look at nature, isn't she sweet? Watch the children and their dancing feet Won't you come back? 1% world, 1% world, 1% world It's not the phone, it's really apps We've been stuck inside a dopamine madness time lapse back. 1% world, 1% world, 1% world. Won't you come back to the other side? Reality's really, really, really nice. Won't you come back? 1% world, it's madness. 1% world, 1% world, it's madness. 1% world. 1% world. So I try and treat it like that now, but as a 1% world, you know. Like yesterday I wanted to get to Lidl, so I programmed in the map to save not asking all the time the direction. And I used the phone, the computer, and I got lot and I went the wrong way. So realistically, I should have done what I normally do, which was leave it in the pocket and ask people. And then I did ask people and I had a nice conversation with some older guys. So from getting to A to B even, I see it like that, more of a, uh, I, I joked with a friend before, calling it a God-pointing system. It's actually really nice to ask people and bump into strangers and say, excuse me, do you know the way? You know, so many times on GPS, I remember myself, and, and not to take away from GPS, it's a great tool. I'm only say, talking from my own experiences, that sometimes just leaving it in the pocket and sharing real interaction on a half an hour walk is very, very interesting, the people you meet. Uh, so I kind of regretted yesterday using the GPS for that little journey. I should have left my phone in my pocket. Uh, so anyway, this is already longer than I usually do, so it's going to take ages to compress. So um, yeah, it's, it, it's, I feel happy to be here, as I've already said. Uh, I feel quite exhausted. Last night I went to sleep at 9 and got up at 6 this morning, so that was good. So I'm pleased to be writing so much and I'm pleased to be standing on the side of the light with the children of God for immediate change for us to come together and resolve the problems. 
So God bless, have a good day. I'm going to be doing more and more recording today because I've got several songs I want to do. So this will probably be the first of several uploads today. Have a great day. Boom, shakalaka. God bless.